Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikha Kadash, and double on to those great millstones, while lunch is true, and also to the old that that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit of power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of the lesson is, More to Come. So I like to say, Shalom, to all our listeners learn. Hope this way be today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So let's get a quick precept before we, we start the day's lesson. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, our armies, with thunder, with earthquakes, and great noise, with storms and tempests, and the flame of devouring fire. So one thing about it, we're going to have what? More to come. What is that? More what? Calamities. More what? Catastrophe. More what? Disaster. You know, because what? The Lord is visiting the earth that he created. We read upon what? Judgment. Also, all of the signs of the times here, right before what? The great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It is fast to approach. You know, a lot of people what still are not considered. Still, you know, doing, going on with their daily life and the end is being manifest right before our soul. Uh, uh, in the news, uh, uh, a massive uh, dust cloud from the Sahara uh, Desert, Africa, is approaching uh, the southeastern, uh, southeastern. I mean, south, yeah, the southeastern part of, uh, of of America. You know what I'm saying? Also, it's gonna go into the southwest, and out about which, in fact, it's the south. You know, the Florida, I think. Uh, what is that? Alabama, Georgia. Uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, and also Texas. So we already just had this uh, thing with the air quality that just went on uh, couple, about two weeks ago uh, with this uh, air quality dealing with the what the Canadian wildfire. And I, by, we're not ignorant of Satan device. When you get Chan, look up uh, Harp and uh, also DARPA. You know what I'm saying? To tell you about all these different uh, manipulating weather machines that they have. And I, by, but all this is uh, left hand energy. You know what I'm saying? I, by, but the Lord is in what? perfect control so we seeing that things are constantly happening one behind another rumor behind rumor mischief behind mischief so we seeing that the lord's what vision the earth with thunder with earthquakes with great north with storms and tempests what is that tempest those are what tornadoes you know what i'm saying we have what flooding you know what i'm saying thunderstorm hell you know what i'm saying uh, 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 uh strong winds you know hurricanes you know a lot of things earthquakes in diverse places and out of body you know so you know we're in that what transition of power we're seeing that the what the prophecies are speaking at the end they shall speak and not lie so we're seeing that hey man uh all of a sudden it's and then you know it don't i don't think they're showing it too much in the news but i have never heard of they saying that this is a, a regular uh thing that happens every year but i have never heard of it you know so it's saying that this uh this massive uh dust uh cloud sandstorm is coming toward the south you know what i'm saying the the, the, the southern state you know what i'm saying so we already knowing that uh the midwest was hit the east coast you know what i'm saying now it's twinkling down into the to the uh the southern state so you know this is gonna be something they're gonna say something about air quality you know what i'm saying so we seeing that this hey man all this is lining up with, with a what a lockdown so we seeing that these things are getting ready to come into play you already know about the digital society but a lot of people what still are going on with their daily life still are not considering hey man they're constantly bringing it left and right you know what i'm saying mischief behind mischief calamity behind calamity order out of chaos you know what i'm saying we already know about all these train derailment chemical spear pausing in the air you know what i'm saying uh Pausing the water, pausing the food. You know, already talking about growing uh, what uh, uh, lab grown food, all sorts of things that's that's coming down. It's more to come. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said already. You know, much tribulation, ye shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Also, we at the what the beginning of sorrow. Hey man, the Bible spot on. You know what I'm saying? Out of you will hear, or out of you will forbear. So the end is being manifest right before our eyes. We've seen it happen. So we already know they can easily call a hey man. We're gonna have to, you know, everyone gonna have to start back putting on the mask. And, and hey, they can call. They can say that you know. I think it was rumors that said that uh that this dust or uh, this uh sand. Uh, uh, storm that's coming from uh, this sand, uh, massive uh, dust cloud that's coming towards uh, Florida. They saying that it, uh, that is rumors that it will increase the, you know what, the C19. You understand what I'm saying? So you already knowing that they trying to bring those what hokey pokies back in play mandates. You know these lockdowns. Hey man. You got to be always watching, redeeming the time wise, because we're living in the what the end time, real time. So the title of the day lesson: 
once again it's more to come so let's start today's video and after the video we will start the lesson and i hope that you will get edified a massive dust cloud from the Sahara Desert is headed straight for the U.S. So either late this weekend or early next week, parts of the U.S. could be having a massive problem. This is because a dust cloud from the Sahara Desert is headed straight towards states like Florida, parts of Alabama and Georgia, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and a few other states. Once this dust cloud comes in, visibility and air quality will be impacted. Now, this dust storm is going to be mostly negative for the states it impacts, especially Florida because almost the entire state is going to be impacted by this dust cloud. But apparently all of the extra dust will make for some beautiful sunrises and sunsets, so it's not all 100% bad. Now, when this dust cloud officially comes in, you'll notice things like hazy skies and allergies, as well as things like red, watery, and irritated eyes. And this dust cloud could very negatively affect you if you have any sort of breathing problems. Now, there are certain medicines and things that can help you with this. So please check what areas the dust cloud is coming to and make sure you're stocked up on anything that you might need before this rolls in. A massive dust cloud from the Sahara Desert. Oh, hey, you're going to want to hang in there for this one because this is a good one. There have been a lot of states that have been impacted by smoke from the Canadian wildfires, right? States like Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, Indiana, New York. Right, causing things like poor air quality. People are having a hard time breathing outside. <laughs> hey, hang in there, southeastern states, because something's coming for us next. Oh, but it's not going to be smoke from the Canadian wildfires making its way south. No, no, that would be ridiculous. No, this is dust from the Sahara Desert is going to make its way clear across the Atlantic Ocean and impact the southeastern United States. Yeah, the Sahara Desert is going to fart out a dust cloud that's going to travel across trade winds and impact states like Florida, Georgia, right? They're going to have poor air quality conditions. They're saying that the particulate in the air is going to irritate eyes and, and skin. And if you're, if you're younger children or older adults who have maybe underlying lung conditions, asthma, well, it may aggravate that condition. <laughs> I mean, now that is wild stuff, right? That is pretty wild. 5,000 miles, dust traveling across the ocean to impact the United States and having that kind of impact on people here. It's crazy. And I thought to myself, well, that's never happened before. But it has. It absolutely has in 2020. In 2020, the Sahara Desert, a dust cloud clear across the Atlantic Ocean that impacted southeastern United States. Now, wouldn't you know it, one of the weirdest statistics that I saw in regard to this particular dust cloud, which was the largest in history, mind you, was that when the dust came over here from the Sahara Desert across 5,000 miles of ocean and impacted the United States, well, the increase in particulate had a direct effect on the cases that we experienced of COVID-19 in 2020. The estimates suggested that the COVID-19 cases increased by nearly 100% when pollution concentrations from the dust cloud increased by only 20. Oh, but that's not all. This dust cloud is powerful. So powerful, in fact, that as it comes through in the coming days, the winds associated with this particular dust cloud are so disruptive that it will keep any tropical storm from forming. It will cease halt stop hurricane season at least for right now because you know we wouldn't want hurricane to dissipate any of the, the dust particulate in the air i mean damn that must be a that must be a strong dust cloud to stop hurricane formation how strong are those winds whatever's happening up in the northern states well it's making its way southeast next and the winds are so powerful and so strong with this dust cloud that's coming through traveling 5,000 miles across an ocean dust that's actually going to stop hurricane season. That is, that is incredible. That is incredible. And there's a couple people that are saying, no, I have a little time. And I, something in my... Man, I love books. And I'll tell you why I love books. When was this book made? 1966. All right, what book am I talking about? This is huge. I, I don't think you guys understand. Like Black's Law Dictionary? Yeah, that's how big this book is, peeps. All right, check this out. <laughs> Want to see the blue marble? Yeah, not one time do they mention Sahara, Sahara Deserts in here. Look at the blue marble. Look at the blue marble. You know the artist. The artist came out. The blue marble. Look at the nasty words. Yes, Disney stuff. It's right there. Blue marble. All right. Not once. 
Not once do they mention anything about those Saharan. Not once do they mention. Do they mention, not once, do they mention anything. Not once. Not once. Continental climate, the ways of the weather. Not once do they mention the Saharan. Saharan dust. Not once. Not once. Let's go back here. Screenshot it. Screenshot it. You'd think that'd be something pertinent, right? Right? Nope. Look, and what are we coming up on? July? Look, it even tells you the months. There's the energy resources of what we had. Continental climate. October. July. Let's see here. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything about Saharan storms. Do you, brothers and sisters? I mean, I see some hurricanes. And I don't see anything saying anything about it coming from Africa. Little, little, little something, something. Here, screenshot this. Get you a little something of that. Yeah. Welcome to deception, people. Welcome to deception. It's a pretty neat book. I picked this up in um, Arkansas on a little vacation out there in the, in the beautiful hills. Um, yeah, look. I mean, this is some pretty neat stuff. So-called, so-called satellite photos. Which are pretty neat. So, I mean, it goes through every state. So, this is shows you where this is at. All right, southeast. The Great Lakes, if you're near the Great Lakes area. Brawny City, I mean, this is the Ohio, the Working River. So... I'm not sure what the land looks like now. And there's a couple people so that are saying, see. no, I have a little time. Is this a coincidence or, you know, uh, is this a, what they say, uh, co conspiracy theories? Hey, man, I, hey, it's too, it's, hey, it's, it's very obvious, very clear that, hey, you know, we're read, we read upon what? Uh, uh, war, you know what I'm saying? We're seeing that we're, you know what I'm saying? It's a silent war that is going on, but that about what you call what? Order out of chaos. We're seeing it. Happening right before I, we're not ignorant of what a uh, Satan device, and and he's trying to get that what the, uh, advantage. You know what I'm saying? Bring forth that what enterprise, that agenda. You know what I'm saying? That what the global reset, the new world order. We seeing it happening. You know what I'm saying? So he's bringing forth more and more. You know, coming into a uh, intuition. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things are happening, and everybody you know said, "Be not deceived." The Lord said, "What the deceived and the deceiver is here," says the Lord. So hey, man, we're here. Man, it's at the door. Hey, man, it's obvious, you know, but a lot of people still say, oh, that's cons conspiracy theory. Oh, it's this. Oh, that's not going to happen. That happens every year. Blase, blase, you know, but hey, man, all the games about to be over, you know what I'm saying? So they already saying that it will cause skin irritation, eye irritation, or lung irritation. Now, if you have any respiratory problems, It'll cause, you know, you have breathing problems, you know, just like with the Canadian Wi-Fi. All these things, you know, is, is, is a coincidence. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, come on now. It's time to wake up. You know what I'm saying? Know what time that we're living in. A lot of people are still, hey, man, still thinking that they're a good case and all hell is about to break loose. So we'll start the day lesson in second area chapter uh, 15. Also, you know, once again, look up Harp. And DARPA, you know what I'm saying? These weather manipulating devices, you know what I'm saying? And you know, but all this is, you know, it, it, it's it's on the left hand side. But the Lord is what is in perfect control. So hey, one thing about it is that hey man, the Lord is visiting the earth that He created. Things is getting ready to what to intensify. Just about every day, something is coming out. Every day, it's just constantly popping. You know what I'm saying? The prophet, the prophet is speaking loud and clear. We're here, time to seek the Lord while He can be found. So let's start the daily lesson, Second Edward chapter fifteen. And verse 5 says, Behold, says the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Verse 6 says, For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and there are hurtful works are fulfilled. So we already seen the Lord is bringing forth the what? The sword. He's getting ready to bring forth famine, you know, a great death, you know, and destruction. It's right before, uh, right before us. A lot of people getting ready to be what? Unalive. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, the body count is getting ready to be great, great tribulation. Great death and destruction. We at the beginning of sorrow. You know, even though, hey, we're sound like a broken record, but hey, man, 
This, these are the times that we're living in. Every day, you know what I'm saying? He's, you know what I'm saying? He's constantly, you know, getting ready to what? To fill his belly. But when he strikes, the Lord is going to strike right back. So that's what we're waiting on. You know what I'm saying? We don't, you know, we know that he's coming. But that is about, he keeps saying this. He keeps saying that. But we already know the Lord is going to put the spirit on. But when he, when he, when he do strike, game over. And we cannot wait. So let's drop down to a verse, uh, just a quick lesson through the spirit. Let's drop down to verse 26. Uh, second, second, chapter 15 and verse 26. One moment, <clears throat> just random scriptures. Verse, uh, second, chapter 15 and verse 26. For the Lord knows all them that sin against him, and therefore delivers, delivers he them unto death and destruction. So, hey amen. The Lord already know uh, your mind, your heart. You know what I'm saying? He already know who the wicked is, who who the ones constantly doing things that displease. And everybody know the Lord's getting ready to judge this place. And everybody know he's getting ready to cut all the what the ungodly. We cannot wait, man. The Lord's getting ready to, to do the thing. We seeing that things are happening all across the world and they not going to what? Slack down for a moment. The plagues are not going to slack down. They're going to keep happening. You know what I'm saying? To the what? The great and glorious return. Of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Verse 27. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. For the Almighty Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai shall not deliver you, because ye have sinned against him. So that everybody say, Amen. The Lord said, I will repay. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So judgment is now at hand. So we're seeing all these different things that's going on in the world. You know what I'm saying? You know, but man, all sorts of things are getting ready. The signs of the times are here. You know what I'm saying? We already what this this uh wildfire, this air quality thing in uh in the East Coast, uh in the Midwest, also now get ready to come into the South. You know what I'm saying? This uh uh supposedly uh uh, uh massive dust cloud from uh, the Sahara uh, uh, desert out of uh, out of Africa. So, hey, man, these things are constantly popping out left and right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, hey, hey, while you're sleeping, the devil is what? Constantly getting busy. Hey, man, we're seeing it happening right before our eyes, man. Hey, man, hey, man, he, he, he's not going to slack down for a moment. So now let's go here to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter four. Proverbs chapter four, one moment. <clears throat> Just writing them scriptures. Proverbs chapter four. And verse 16, Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 16. And it reads, for they sleep not except they have done mischief. And they sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Verse 17, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. And out of my hey man, we seeing it. You know, we seeing he constantly what working his his mischief, working his what devices, trying to get that what advantage. We seeing it. You know, he's bringing it forth. You know what I'm saying? We seeing it. It's big becoming more clearer and clearer. These are these are coincidence. Are these are what uh, a lot of people always I hate when they say that is these are what com conspiracy theorists. You know, hey, one thing about it, these are what Bible prophecy. You know what I'm saying? They are speaking loud and clear. The Lord's word is not returned in void. Why, whether you were here or whether you will forbear. So that about, you know, hey, he cannot sleep if he have not done what mischief. You know what I'm saying? He got to do some source of wickedness. You know what I'm saying? But he is the harbinger of death. Death and hell follow him. And that about the Lord's getting ready to cut him off forever. We cannot wait. You know, that long disease. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is getting ready to cut him out because what? He constantly what? Destroying the earth. You know what I'm saying? The chemtrail. Pausing the water. You know what I'm saying? Pausing the food. Pausing you. You know what I'm saying? All sorts of things. Train development. Chemical spill. You know, fire explodes. You know, plant explodes. Uh, 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 food processing plant closed down. Constantly, you know, destroying the land. Destroying the crops. And out about him, more to come. You know what I'm saying? And out about, you know what I'm saying? But the Lord said, for the elect's sake. Those days shall be short. You know what I'm saying? Matthew chapter 24 verses uh, 21 through 22. Hey, man, we're here. So we're coming upon a great tribulation period that we have never seen before. Hey, man, Woo, we're here. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 16. For they, for they sleep not except they have done mischief and, and, their, and their sleep is taken away unless they call some to fall. Verse 17. For, for they eat the bread of wickedness 
and drink the wine of violence. Who is they? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. And out about, we already know that, hey, man, he's getting ready to come down with great wrath. We know that he's getting ready what to perform his enterprise. But the Lord said, you know what I'm saying? He will not be able to. The Lord is getting ready to return and cut him off forever. We cannot wait, but we seeing that, hey, it's constantly viable. A lot of our people say, oh, that's not going to happen. Oh, that ain't that. This happened every year. Well, we shall see. And I about, but the prophecy, hey, they are faithful and true. Hey, man, we ain't. Hey, we're not even worried about the unbelievers at the, you know at this particular everyone is standing in their lot we read upon judgment hey, we asking the lord how long will lord we ready to get out of this this nightmare so now let's go here one moment <clears throat> one moment let's see let's go here to uh let's go here to uh revelations chapter 11 revelation chapter 11 just random scripture revelation chapter 11 and verse revelation chapter 11 and verse 18 <clears throat> and it reads, and the nations were angry, and uh, thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that uh, thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, uh, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and sh shouldest destroy them. Which destroyed the earth. And I about we already know who destroying the earth. That long disease, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the wicked that the Bible speaks. And not about we already seeing that all sorts of uh, uh, calamities and catastrophes are going on all around the world. You know what I'm saying? The world is what is wasting away. You know what I'm saying? It's becoming what desolate. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the wildlife is dying. Uh, we are even seeing that the trees are dying. You know what I'm saying? You know that we're seeing that, you know, all sorts of things are happening. People are, are dying with all sorts of sickness and disease. You know what I'm saying? Left and right. And they constantly, you know, bringing it forward, talking about depopulation. Hey, Amen. The Lord's getting ready to what, destroy them that destroy the earth. We cannot wait. Let's read that one more time. Uh, uh, Revelation chapter 11 and verse 18. And the nation were angry, uh, and thy wrath is come. And the time of the dead that they should uh, be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, uh, the prophet, the elect, the true believers, and to the saints and them that fear thy name, the elect. You know, once again, the house of David, the true believers of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, small and great and, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And out about we already know the, the, what the devil. He's getting ready what to come down with great wrath. You know, he's getting ready what to fill his belly. We already seeing all these things are coming together. The MOTB, the, 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 the digital what? Uh, uh, society. You know what I'm saying? We already knowing that what? Great tribulation, great persecution. What war? World War Three. You know what I'm saying? A time of trouble that we've never seen before. We go over these over and over because what? We want you to be what? Well warm. And also what? The hour of temptation. As fast as it approach, the signs of the time, they're here. They're right in front of your face. And the end is being manifest. Hey, man, we're here, man. We're rejoicing. So now let's go to our last and final script. Just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16. we we'll close out here. Matthew chapter 16. And we'll start at verse 2. And it reads, say, He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. Verse 3, And in the morning it will be foul weather. Uh, today, for the sky is red and luring. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the time? Hey, hey, we're living in the what? The end time, real time. In the middle of the Lord, we constantly sign and cry left and right. But what? You constantly what? Uh, smiling and laughing and having a great old time. You know, constantly playing game. Still are not considered. And I about you know about what? The 4th of July. Oh, it's sunshine day. That's barbecue. Uh, we see a dark cloud. Oh, man, it's rain. You know, oh, man, we, I just put a raincoat on. Everything is going to be uh, normal. Once again, the sun will come out again. Hey, man. We're not, it's, it's, it, it, it's, we're not going back to norm. And I about, you know, all hell is getting ready to break loose. And I saw so a lot of people, you know, still have that what strong delusion. You know what I'm saying? And I about, you know, hey, man, hey, they, 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 they constantly, you know what I'm saying, are walking in the what? The congregation of the dead. And they're getting ready to be what? Physically dead. All these things that happen all around the world. And I, we still have our people what? Still don't believe. 
still don't know who they are, still don't know who their true power is, and also still don't know who the enemy is. And out about it, you know, but one thing about it, two part very end shall be cut off and die. You know what I'm saying? It's more to come right before what? The great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hey man, the signs of the times are here. And out about we hey, hey man, we're measuring the time uh, diligently. You know what I'm saying? Through the what? Through the scriptures. So hey man. Any given day, all hell can break loose. You know, we got to be what? Watching, praying, and being sober. Cause, hey, man, because we're living in these times, real time. So the title of the daily lesson, once again, is more to come. So I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikah Kadash. I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.